hello friends! Welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica. I am super excited that you're here with us. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a video and you can support us at patreon.com slash rosyresearch. Support starts as low as a dollar a week and it helps us keep our program going. It also gets you into our Zoom room so you can hang out and chat and if we print 3D items you can get something mailed to you. This week we are working on dissection and we've done a lot of fun sort of tasty dissection. We've exploded some flowers and we are doing some paper dissection. If you fall in love with dissection, you can check out biologyproducts.com. They have an amazing lineup of things that you can buy to dissect at home. We are keeping the squishies away at the moment and we are just learning on paper. And so today we have an amazing thing from Cambridge Press. It is a paper dissection model of a frog. Now, I am going to color mine later. If you want, you can color it before you cut it, um, but you're gonna need this guy, a pair of scissors, and some glue or some tape, anything you want. And the first step is, of course, to cut your frog up, which I've already done. The other page of it is gonna be really, really helpful. It'll tell you how to put it together and what all the parts are. I don't even have all of these parts memorized, because in science, it's not all about memorizing everything, it's about knowing where you can look things up and find answers or who you can ask for answers. So the first thing we're gonna start with, we have all of these different parts, is our frog. Here is the underbelly of our frog. If we, we have a top flap that we will put on, so it looks more like a little frog like that, but you'll notice there are some stuff already. Over up here, I see that these are the bottoms of the eye sockets. This is where the eyes of the frog would be. These are the kidneys of our frog. That sort of helps regulate how much fluid you have. It regulates your salts in your area. There's, you can see all these lines here. That's all of the blood and the veins and the arteries that are going to bring um, oxygen throughout the body, help nutrients for the muscles and all that good stuff. You can see up here is the top where this would be, or the, the face, which would be like sort of the jaw area and then you would eat and it would go through and then our frog would poop it on out. So we can't see all of that stuff. We don't even have a digestive tract on this frog yet. So we have a little bit of work to do. So you're gonna put this guy down on your table and keep it nice in the same spot the whole time. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to find the part A and these are the testes, there's two pieces. Looks like this. These are the testes of the frog. It helps them reproduce. And the way that you put this in is you're actually going to fold the tab back, all right, so that you can't see the A anymore. And this will allow us to sort of bring it down and look underneath it later. And you'll notice on the bottom of your frog, there's that spot that says A. So we're just gonna put a little dollop of glue right on that A. And then we will put both of these little pieces just like that. So those are my reproductive parts of my frogs. All right, now, but you might be wondering, but how does this frog eat? And that is part B1, and that is going to be the digestive tract. So in B1, if we fold it back, we would glue it on. Our frog would eat in its mouth. It would go through the esophagus, like down its throat. It would go into the stomach, and then the stomach feeds into the lower intestine, and that lower intestine goes into the rectum, which is that muscle that can pulsate and really push stuff out, and then it comes out. It's not an anus on a frog. It is actually called a cloaca on a frog, and that is because it's everything that goes out of the frog goes through the same hole. So urination, um, excrement, and anything reproductive goes to that same spot, and so it's called a cloaca because of that. And we are going to put a little dollop of glue up here on B1, and we'll put down our digestive tract with a little dollop of glue. Now they have on their um, little helper guide ideas on how you can color this so that you can see it. I like to put B2 next, and B2 is my liver, and that is sort of like our filtration system. All right, we love our livers because it helps filter things, all the toxins and stuff out of our blood. Oops, I put that on B. I wanna put this one right on top of my esophagus. Right on top of one. We're gonna put B2, just like that. And there's my liver lobes. You can already see how fun this will be 
to kind of open our frog up and you can see it. And it's the same layers that you would see if you were actually dissecting a frog. All right, so we did A and B, and now we want to find C. And C is our bladder. And so you can ask yourself, hmm, where would I find the bladder? And it's usually in the lower part of your body. And in fact, here it is. It's right here, sort of right by where that cloaca comes. All right, so I'm gonna put C right here. We'll just glue that piece down. That is my frog's bladder. I imagine I might color its bladder yellow. All right, so that was, what did I say, C. So now we need to look for D, which is this little one. So it sort of looks like a little bow tie. And these are its lungs. And so now D comes up here. Its lungs are really high up in the frog. That's really important. You'll notice all of those lines sort of come by those lungs so that its blood can get oxygen. Same thing for us. We have a lot of vasculature, a lot of blood that goes in and out of our lungs because it's kind of important to have oxygen in your blood. And the way that we convert oxygen in the air to oxygen in our blood is through those lungs. All right, next I have E, which is number 14, a really important part the heart, and of course the heart we also want to be by where a lot of things come together and it's pumping the blood all around the body. It's super important also, it goes right by the lungs just like how ours is right by the lungs and all that power because once it gets oxygenated, you really wanna push it through that body so it can get to those muscles. All right, now we're gonna do the draw for F and let's see, also it's this so F is going to come right here, we'll have the tongue and the bottom jaw for our frog. So I'll put little dollops right here on F, and I can just put that right on down like that. Then I have G, and G is like a little thumb pad organ, helps it sense its environment, and that guy goes right on its hand. That. And then the last thing we have, we don't see frogs running around with their organs all exposed. They have an underbelly. And that is, comes way up here like this. It hides everything. And that is the underside skin. That guy down. Just like that. And now I can dissect my frog. So I could pretend to cut the skin up and it would look like this. And then I would see all of these things. I would see this jaw and the tongue and I could cut the tongue parts out and I could find its heart. And after I find its heart, I could find the lungs and then the liver that's filtering things. I can take the livers out and then I can go through and see the digestive tract and I can see the male reproductive organs and underneath those are still even more stuff. There's our kidneys that are down there and a whole lot of vasculature to move that blood around. I've got the bladder for urination, and then you can put it all back together. It's a great way to see how the parts of a frog go together without having to get super squishy and actually opening up a frog. If you love this one and you have a 3D printer, you can actually 3D print a little puzzle that has the organs of the frog that go together. It's a really fun thing, prints in a few hours. You could also go to that biologyproducts.com and get a real frog. Make sure you use eyeglasses and gloves and a sharp knife with parents. It's an amazing lesson. They're only like $3.50, I think, on that website. So if you're finding you love this and you really want to look at it, check that out. It's a great resource. Thank you so much for joining us in our dissection unit. It's been so much fun doing paper dissections, creating art, and doing it through a few tasty treats. We will see you next time. Have a good one, friends.